since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shit. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, going back to Sack this evening, Moonraker Brewing Company, Auburn, California. I was just there last week over Thanksgiving break. Um, this is Dojo, 8.5%, a double IPA. Uh, if you guys saw my video, I don't know, a month or so ago, I reviewed Yojo, one of their first canning runs that they did. Um, and this is basically the imperialized version of that. 8.5%, um, I think Yojo is 7%. Um, I think there might be a couple hops that are different in this beer that than are in um, Yojo, but I was sitting talking to Zach um, while we were up there and I just asked him, I'm like, hey, is that basically, you know, an imperial version of Yojo? And he had said, yeah, it was. So I really, really like that beer. Um, and so I was stoked that my buddy Jared got me some of these. Uh, this was canned on 11.8, so it is 21 days old. So three weeks uh, wheelhouse for me for these New England style hoppy beers. So um, stoked to check this one out. I was at Jared's house um, over the holiday and he had shared a couple cans of this with me and I loved it. So figured it was worthy of review and we're going to use our proper glassware that we picked up from Moonraker because hashtag PGG. Um, and that pours exactly like a New England style IPA. It looks like pineapple juice. <laughs> it's that light kind of yellow straw color. I could smell it from here. Uh, finger of bright white head, super just tight little bubbles. Um, eight and a half percent when we swirl her around the glass, there's alcohol legs. It looks absolutely killer. So that glassware is sweet. <laughs> Hashtag glassware whore. I, my glassware is out of control. It uh, It's getting to be a problem. So um, it, it's just wafting tropical fruit. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Let's see what she smells like. Fuck, it's just massive peach. It's like peach juice and pineapple juice. That's insane. It smells like, um, it smells like galaxy, but I don't remember if there's galaxy in here or not. It is just ridiculously tropical fruit forward. It's crazy. It smells like juice. It's peach juice and it's, like I said, pineapple juice. There's a little bit of like that green herbaceous thing, but legit, like it's one of those beers, Matt says, Ninja Malts. There's no malts to be found. It is just a straight juice bomb. Um, a lot of the times with uh, the New England style beers that are brewed on the West Coast, you get like that dank kind of earthy resinous thing. Not this. This is just crazy, exploding, soft, like peaches, pineapple. There's apricots, like stone fruit. Crazy. Eight and a half percent. It. I mean, it's. you don't smell booze. You smell juice. The nose on this is insane. So let's check this out. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> that is, it, it, that's crazy. Um, it's the taste false notes. It's massive peaches, pineapple, and then middle of the mouth you get, it's like a little bit of like orange juice mixed in there, maybe like sweet tangerine juice. But this is just straight juice. So if you're looking for kind of like the East Coast meets the West Coast style, like that Monkish is putting out, that's not this. This is straight New England juice bomb. It, this is, it is, it's a juice bomb. Um, eight and a half percent, no booze to be found anywhere. You don't smell it, you don't taste it. There's zero malts anywhere. This is basically like, if you, you know, if you're like, eh, I don't feel like having a beer, I'm gonna have juice. It's crazy. Just, it, but super, like, it's crushable. It's a crushable eight and a half percent beer. You get in trouble drinking these. This almost has like that Flintstone vitamin thing going on too. Just crazy, crazy tropical fruits. It almost tastes like there's either like fruit juice added or it was aged with fruit, but it's the hops. It's insane. Zach absolutely murdered this one. If you are into the crazy, hazy juice bomb beers, this is the beer for you. I mean, one of the best double IPAs as far as this style on the West Coast goes. So world-class stuff. It's insane. Um, like 98. It's crazy. So uh, that is Dojo. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is. It's, it's crazy. Um, and even now that I'm like talking and it's warming up a little bit, it's got that yeasty kind of bubblegum thing going on. So this is a legit New England style. If you're on the West Coast and you're having problems like trading for Trillium or Treehouse, pick up some Dojo. Trade for that for sure. So awesome, awesome stuff. 98 for me. I mean, I love it. It's it's ridiculous. It's a it's just a ridiculously soft juice bomb of a double IPA. So um, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.
Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.